Yeah, well, if you ask me, you don't know when you're well off. Really? Yeah. If I was your age again, I'd stay clear of fellas. <laughs> Rubbish. No, it's true. I've never met one that was worth the bother. Well, that's only because you got caught out. It's not going to happen to me. Yeah, that's what I thought, I suppose. But the pill's safe. You can't get pregnant when you're on it. That's if you remember to take it. A lot of people don't. In any case, why should you go messing up your body just so some bloke can have his bit of fun when it suits him? It's not just him, is it? Maybe I might enjoy it. Yeah, well, that's your lookout. But where it got me. Nowadays, I'd rather have a good meal. At least after that, all you get is indigestion. Well, it's not as bad as all that. I mean, you love Annie. Yeah, of course I do. Well, then. Loving her don't provide for her. She still needs feeding and dressing and somewhere to live. But you've got all that. Well, it's a right palace, isn't it? They're shoving me into a bed and breakfast for a few days so they can budge up the dam. Well, I suppose if we get hungry, we could stew up one of the mice. Yeah, you're right, Sharon. Me life's a real picnic. Oh, look, I bet we're going to school now. Oh, well, thanks for the tea. It's all right. Thanks for talking it over. Well, I hope you take a bit of notice. Look, it doesn't have to be like that. What? Well, sorted. All you know about is what can go wrong. But there must be another side to it. Yeah. It's not just for the bloke's convenience. If I go on the pill, it means I can say yes or no when it suits me. You reckon? Well, yeah, it's freedom. Freedom to do what I want with my own body. I reckon everyone's entitled to that. Yeah, well, it's your life. It's up to you, innit? That's right. Yeah. Hey, are you sure you know what you're doing, Lofty? You and Sharon had a nice chat this morning then, Ethel? Oh, yes. You two seem to be getting on pretty well lately. Oh. Turning out to have a mind of her own, that young lady. What were you talking about? Well, you know what it's like at that age. All trying to grow up too quick. How do you mean? Well, I mean, it's nothing but boys, boys, boys. There's no time to think about anything else. I think it's a shame. Yeah. I had a crush on a boy called Brian when I was at school. He was the delivery boy for the bakers. <laughs> and I admired the way he rode his bike. Oh, of course, I never told him. I mean, you wouldn't in those days, would you? But I thought about him all the while. Different nowadays, isn't it? Well, that's your perceptive society, isn't it? Permissive, Ethel. That's what I said. It's the parents I'm sorry for, you see. I mean, especially with girls. It's nothing but worry. You'll need to keep an eye on your Sharon. Yeah. 